And when it, you know what? Explain to me. You explain to me why black kids aren't graduating high school. You explain that one to me. Explain to me why black kids are shooting each other in rates significantly higher than whites are shooting each other. Explain to me why 13% of the population is responsible for 50% of the murder. Explain to me why the, why the number of blacks and black kids in prison, not for innocent reasons, not for walking down the street and getting pulled into a prison, is so high. Explain, if it has nothing to do with culture, explain to me why the single motherhood rate in the black community jumped from 20% to 70% in the same course of time that the civil rights movement has made such tremendous strides. Is America more racist now than it was in 1960? And if it is, please explain to me how that happened. Anybody well, can jump in. It's, a, it's an open mic there. But there has to be racism. You can't be, you can't say there's no racism. Without I mean, evidence? I mean, no, 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 no. I'm just saying that I don't know which animal. I maybe you, you, no, maybe we're talking about dogs racist. or something. I'm, I'm talking about human beings. And I'm like, human beings are most likely going to have racial prejudices. I'm just so sorry. I, I, I'm just so sorry. I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't come on my... I don't come, yeah, I, I, come, no, I, come from, I come from planet Charles, Earth. Charles, I, just, I want to ask you a question. So your default, your default is that when there is no evidence, racism is the deciding factor. That is no, 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 I was not saying that. I'm just saying that, uh, that you're going to have sexist, you're going to have racist, you're going to have all this stuff. I mean, I'm just saying that. I agree it exists, but the problem that I'm seeing, and, and this is the problem with the general conversation, is that there's no solution in simply saying there's racism out there. How does that solve anything? And when, when you talk about there's institutional racism, what does that mean? Show me a law that is racist in intent, and we will agree. Show me a police officer who commits a racist act, like we saw in South Carolina, right, where a police officer shot a black man running away, and it was obviously unjustified, and I will agree. But you need, the, the, the idea that you can craft a narrative based on no racism because it just must be somewhere out there in the ether, that doesn't solve problems for anybody and creates more problems for people because now they grow up in a, in a milieu and an environment where they are told that every obstacle they face is from some shadowy, nameless, faceless group who is out to get them simply because of the color of their skin. They'll never succeed in that environment. Um. On, on the Black Lives Matter idea, I'm, I'm, I want to find the people, I, I want to find the people alongside you who think Black Lives don't matter. I, I'm still looking for those people, really. I mean, it, like the, the, the implication is, of course, that for a bunch of people out there, for some reason, they're they're fine with Black people getting shot in the street for no reason. Hands up, don't shoot was based on a lie. That's problematic. The idea that there is a, a, a huge number of black young men who are being shot for no reason by police officers is not statistically true. It's just not statistically true. The fact is that according to statistical studies at John Jay College, if you're a white man in a similar confrontation with police, you have a better chance of being shot by police than if you're a young black man. More white men are shot by the police every year in the country than young black men are shot by police in the country. The idea that, that there is a spate, and, and, I can, and there's an easy proof. We know all of their names. We know all of their names. When there's a broad, there are 30 million black men in America. Okay, when we know all, President Obama said that we have a spate, it's a slow rolling crisis. Once every couple of weeks we have a case that's under dispute. So let's take his statistic. Okay, so let's, let's say it's 26. No, one is too many, and we all agree. But is it, is it really a, a slow rolling crisis with a broad trend across the nation when there are 30 million black people in the entire country? And 26 people are shot under disputed circumstances, and probably at least half of those, the cop is at least justified. In Michael Brown, he was justified. Okay, and, and let so me, let me interject on here. Is, you can't make a narrative on We're running out of time. I want to do a follow-up.